How's it going guys? Today we're going to be talking about the differences between pythons, boas, and constrictors. There's quite a few differences and I get asked this question a lot here at Gator Country, so we're going to go inside, look at some cool snakes, and show you guys the differences between these wonderful animals. Alrighty guys, first let's discuss what exactly a constrictor is. So in the snake world there are basically three ways snakes will kill their prey. One being envenomation, things like rattlesnakes, cobras, they'll inject venom with their fangs which immobilizes and kills their prey. Number two is pretty much the lazy route. Things like coach whips, garter snakes, they don't constrict or envenomate their prey. They just sort of, you know, lay there, swallow it alive, maybe pin it down with a coil or two or thrashed against something. Not too efficient. Number three, which we're talking about today, is constriction. Now, constriction is really fascinating and a lot of people get it wrong. So when I say something is a constrictor, I'm not saying it's a boa or a python. I'm saying it's a snake that uses this killing method called constriction. Constriction works a lot different than many people think. Most people think that a snake will wrap around its prey. Every time the prey exhales, it's gonna squeeze a little tighter until there's no air left. That's not true at all. If you look at a UFC fight, someone will get someone in like a rear naked choke and the guy will be out in about four seconds or less. What something like a rear naked choke does is actually restrict the blood flow and stops the oxygen going to your head. So that's exactly how snakes kill. They want that mouse or whatever to be out as quickly as possible. These guys have a really sensitive stomach and they can sense when the heart of the prey stops pumping. Now this right here is a king snake. It's not a python or a boa, but it is a colubra that is a constrictor. In fact, it's actually the best constrictor in the world, pound for pound this snake squeezes much harder than any other. If you take an anaconda and, the, and a king snake the same size, the king snake will be stronger. In fact, these guys are actually twice as strong as a rat snake. So why is that? King snakes, uh, unlike many other snakes, specialize in hunting reptiles, mainly other snakes. So these guys need to squeeze a lot harder because reptiles need a lot less oxygen going to their brain than say what a mammal. So when a king snake is trying to squeeze another snake, it's gonna have to squeeze twice as hard to actually incapacitate that snake. So lovely little constrictor here, not a boa or a python, but let's move on to those bigger snakes and learn the difference between them. All right, guys, so we moved up a little bit in size. This right here is a boa. Now, as for the actual species, these guys are called a lot of different things, but the most common is actually its scientific name. Uh, now, people are called, you know, humans, but their scientific name is Homo sapiens. This guy's scientific name is boa constrictor, so it's one of the few animals whose scientific name is actually more well known than its common name, which could be anything from the common boa, Central American boa, and so on. So these guys are really cool, and this is probably the most popular boa uh, species that's pretty well known across the world. And it's also the second biggest. The biggest boa species is actually the anaconda, which is, yes, a type of boa. So even though this snake is what most people think of when you hear the word boa, the boa family is a really large family that spans across many different continents. Boas are primarily found uh, in the Americas, so South America especially, all the way up into Central America, and there's even two species in North America, that being the rosy boa and the rubber boa. But they're not limited to the Americas. Boas are found all the way in places like Australia, Madagascar, uh, a few in Africa. So boas and pythons have one really cool thing in common, that being that they both have vestigial limbs. So if you look at the underside of any boa or python, you'll see two little claws. Those are called spurs, and they're actually connected to leg bones within the body. So in a way, you could actually say that snakes do have legs. Both pythons and boas have this, but the male spurs are gonna be larger than the females. So if you're trying to tell a python or a boa from any other kind of snake, that's one way to do it. Now, for how to tell the difference between a boa and a python, there's many ways, but the main one that separates boas and pythons are that boas give birth to live young and pythons lay eggs. And there's no exceptions to that rule. Now, there are a few other cases where you can more easily identify a python from a boa. In general, pythons have heat pits and boas don't, but there are exceptions. There's pythons in Australia, like the Woma python, that don't have heat pits, and there's quite a few tree boas, like Amazon tree boas, that have very prominent heat pits that are boas. Now we're gonna get Josie here back in her exhibit and finally look at a python so I can show you those differences up close. Alrighty guys, so this here is Mango and she is gonna be our python representative for this video. Specifically, she's a Burmese python, even more specifically an albino one. 
So she has this gorgeous yellow coloration and being a python, she is a huge snake. She's probably over eight feet long. Now pythons do on average get bigger than boas. There is the anaconda and the red tail boa. Those are the two biggest boas. Pythons on the other hand, the Burmese python, reticulated python, and African rock python can all get over 20 feet long. So they are on average longer. So unlike the boas, pythons aren't found in the Americas at all, except sadly as invasive species. But these guys are gonna range most other tropical continents, uh, Asia, Africa, Australia, that's where these guys conquer. There are boas there, but they're not nearly as prevalent as the pythons there. Alrighty guys, so if you look up there under her nose, you will see a array of heat sensing pits. Now what those pits are gonna allow is for her to see the heat signatures of any warm blooded animals she's trying to pick up. Any rat, any mammal, any bird, she's gonna see them against the colder uh, air around it and she'll be able to find it even in pitch black darkness and strike. Well, I hope you guys learned a lot about the differences between pythons, boas, and constrictors. I know that I was confused for a while, so I'm hoping I can sort of educate you guys and that we walked away with some cool facts and showed you some cool snakes. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.